What is going on everybody? I am excited to bring you another new video here for Parsec Soda. So in the last video I made, I made it that I showed off how you could do, how I found the best way to use Parsec Soda instantly, and I hope that helped some of you. Um, now I've moved on to a new tutorial that I've been, want, I've been very curious about, so I'm gonna make it now. Uh, I made one earlier, but it wasn't really a tutorial. I was kind of excited that I got it to work and the video kind of came out sloppy, so I'm gonna make it from scratch here. So basically, I figured out how you can use Remote Play to access your PS4 games to play through Parsec Soda without having to use the Titan 1. So you see we have Parsec Soda set up here. And then we have, uh, as you notice in the background, there's their controller moving because I'm plugged into the PS4. As you can see, my setup is right there. And the PS4 is where it's being plugged into. So basically, you wouldn't have a host spot. Someone else could be host so they can move around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to get started on this and then I'm gonna make a second video once I can get more to understand on it. Because it seems that all someone has to do, and I'm very big on people on showing your work. So I'm gonna uh, set it to a, a full slot and let you guys see someone join and then you'll see how it works. So from the scratch, you notice that on the left there is the Xbox the Xbox controllers and then the PlayStation controllers. When a friend of mine, uh, when someone tried to join earlier, it was also the Xbox and he couldn't move. I could obviously because I'm connected to the PS4. So he couldn't move and I was like, well, you know, Titan one wouldn't matter because Titan one is how to connect PC movements through like a, a what do you call it, a converter, but that's only for you, for the host to do. So that's why I didn't want to get a Titan one. I was like, it wouldn't matter because it's how you move. I want to I want to test if someone else can join your room and be able to move around themselves. That's all that's all that really matters. It's not about if you, if, if you can move in here is whatever. You know, it's your controller. It's it's if they can move. So all you have to do is you have to switch the controller they're trying to use over to PlayStation. Now that's why I'm making going to make a two part because you know, once converters and stuff come into play, people playing on PlayStation using Xbox controllers and stuff you know, people having to use X inputs and whatnot, that's gonna take time for me to understand. But I wanna get it going for those of you out there playing games that no longer have player bases, like this game, or if you play PS4, maybe PS5 with your friends, and you wanna play something like King of Fighters, uh, and you wanna come over here and play like, uh, where's KO? Right there, and you wanna play the, um, what's it called, party mode. And you know, a lot of people aren't really playing it. If you could get it on Parsec with you and like a friend of yours, like co-op on the couch, probably. I don't know if that works, but then other people could just join and you could fill up a room. So, so this first part here is just pretty much going to show you how to get it to go. So in order, you begin by uh, adding PS Remote Play to your desktop if you don't have it already. So you just download it. All you do from there is you go ahead and set up your settings. And of course, there's a there is many tutorials. But what you want to do is once you set up remote play, you have to have an active second account. So your main account can kind of be the one you use. It's kind of hard to explain, but you cannot use remote play with only one account. You have to have a second. And uh, there's, a, there's a longer video to go into that. I'll link that in the description of how I got mine to work that way. So basically, if you don't have remote play set up, use a link it to that video to set up your own remote play account. Then from there, load your game have Parsec in the background. If you have Parsec Soda activated, which, which is what you'll have to use. The reason I say that is because on the actual Parsec, you cannot load down here. You cannot see your remote play and click and host because it will it will uh, go right up here saying you cannot host it. I've tried that many times before. I don't want my computer to try to mess up for me trying to show you that right now. But yeah, so with Parsec Soda, pretty much anything will be read as long as you follow the steps that I said in the other video so that people can see your game. First thing I did was I loaded remote play and other people joined the room and I said, I wanna make sure first you guys can see the game and they said, yeah, but they could not move. So now I'm gonna show you how to get someone else in here so you can see me playing a match. We'll go to battle. This is where it gets confusing. I'm gonna show you something real quick. All right, so you're gonna see there, there's another name on the top there. Let's see if I can scroll in on it. Yeah, free liberty something. That's like my, uh, I guess that's my um, remote play name. But anyway, 
So you have your name and then that, right? Okay, so we're gonna set it to go. And all I gotta do now is go in here. Match Puppets is only something to help you control other players as they get in. We're gonna start small with just probably one or two people joining. I'm still confused on how to get all of them to work their controllers to play. It took a while for us to get that earlier working with another game. So once I figure that out, I will make a second video. Anyway, we have it, we need to set it to, we gotta host it uh, and set it to public room, set it to go. And of course, once that's all set, you come in here where you see me right there remote play test. Now I'm gonna shorten this here. Now the first person to join will come down to either one of these rooms here. And he's gotta move on down to uh, PlayStation. There, see, there he goes. And now he's able to move, guys. That's all you gotta do. And now him and I can play a game. Uh, did he leave? I'm not sure. Uh, let me make sure. I'm gonna back out because I guess he's he got locked into the other guy's buttons. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. See? Just switch them to a PlayStation control. That's all you gotta do. get a look at the first match. And then after that, I'm gonna cut the video and I'll make the second part when I can figure that out. Messing around with Earthquake a lot in SVC Chaos. So, been using him a little bit in this game lately. And see, of course, you're gonna have people that come in and don't know how to play the game, but the more people you know that have Parsec, the easier it is for them to do this. back out here you can put a read on it see if they want to play again most times they may want to sometimes they don't all right but i'm not gonna let you guys watch i'm not gonna have you guys watch an entire set but that's how to get it going and i will show you guys a later video once i can get it to multiple people joining and then me figuring out how to play pretty much all the characters from there because right now i don't know how to do all that just yet but that's how you get started to get people to join your room so they can play the game. And uh, that's part one of Parsec Cross Remote Play for PlayStation. Thank you guys for watching. So I wanted to insert this part into the video uh, post it at the end of part one. Uh, because I kind of forgot. I, I had noticed that I had shown you guys how the other player joined. But this is what I mean. So over here, you have the Xbox and the PlayStation symbols. 
You also have them down here in master. So you're gonna need to switch those two if necessary. And over here, you notice there's four controllers for the PlayStation and then you have the, the symbols for the Xbox. So because it's being hosted on PlayStation Remote Play, it's best to kind of keep them here. If they cannot move no matter what, you know, come in here, switch them to Xbox or move this around. This can read uh, what is called X input. Um, there's a very, very long tutorial with that for Parsec Soda naturally. But basically, uh, let me see if I can get up here, make it make sense to you. Okay, so he says, detects all game pads, X input and direct input does not require a window focus. And if you have this one, it says no button input, button mapping not required, only detects X input game pads. And this only detects four. So if you're having a large room, you may get kind of confused with how many people are trying to enter different controllers. You won't know if they're entering X input controller, they're gonna kind of have to tell you that. So that's why a lot of times you just kind of mess around. So what I did earlier, because I, I noticed I didn't move the camera. So when the guy joined the room, I went over here and I grabbed his name. He was under an Xbox controller at the time. And I dragged him down because this was Xbox earlier. These three here were PlayStation. So I moved him down to here and he was able to move. The point of it is, is if someone's trying to play on your remote play access, they have it's best for them to be able to pair through the PlayStation symbol. So it reads a PlayStation controller uh, better. Once I, I, as I said, I will make a continuation video once I know more of people using converters and all that shit, but Parsec isn't really known for like pro players, so most people are gonna play with just normal PlayStation pads or whatever, whatever they got plugged in, I guess, so. Or whatever they can just plug pretty much into the computer. It pretty much reads anything. It's just between X, put, X input and just direct input. Uh, that just takes a lot of time to get to understand. But yeah, so right now, if you watch my video and you're like, oh, you know, my boy plays Sam show, but he doesn't have a PS4 and you want to host the game, all you got to do is if he comes up here and it's Xbox symbol, switch it over here to PlayStation. And if you're wondering how, up here you see zero, you see four. So you just add another one right there for Xbox and you just get rid of it. There you go. And just drag it down. The name will show up here. So you're going to click it and then drag them uh, down there. See, like I was moving around. And then from there, you'll see their, their buttons moving around and then they'll be able to move uh, within the game. I had noticed I made that mistake on the first part of the video that the camera was kind of cut like this so you couldn't really see me moving them around so you were kind of confused. I myself hate seeing that in other people's videos where I can't see exactly what they did. So I wanted to go back and add that as an extra insert to the video so you guys can understand more. Hope it helps.